All right, today we're going to begin Ray's Arithmetic, and Ray's Primary Arithmetic is the book we're going to work out of. Today we're going to do Lesson 1, which is Numbers and Figures. Now, just for today, we're going to count from 1 through 10, because the next lessons are going to start taking us up through all the way to 100. For today, though, we're just going to do Numbers 1 through 10. And what we're going to do right now is we'll just uh, pick something to drop here on the board to count so we can use for counting 1 through 10 and we'll write the numbers for those and learn those. So what we'll use, let's start with something easy because we'll go through this a couple of times to get the hang of it and we can do something simple to count and work with like how about circles? But if I draw a circle, so let's say over here on the left, maybe right about here, we draw a circle and the question is how many circles do we have on our board right now? Well that is one circle. Okay, well, if we draw another circle right next to that one, how many circles do we have now? We've got one, two, two circles. All right, how about we come over here to the right and put another circle next to those? How many circles do we have now? We've got one, two, three, three circles. Okay, well, let's put another circle next to those. A little bit of a how many circles do we have now? Is that one, two, three, four? Uh-huh, okay. Now we put another circle next to those. How many circles do we have now? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so far so good. Let's put another row of circles down below here. Let's go down here to the left, maybe right about there. Okay, now how many circles do we have on our board? We got one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, let's keep going. One more next to that one. These circles are getting smaller. Let me pump that one up a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Now, how many circles do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. And if we put another one next to those, how many circles do we have now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, let's do one more. How many circles do we have now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, let's do one more because we can fit that in the corner to finish up our counting. And how many circles do we have now? Well, let's count them up. In fact, let me grab my highlighter and we can tick these off as we count. You want to count with me? All right, here we go, up on the left top uh, part of the row, right there. That's circle number one, isn't it? Okay, so that's one. Now let's count two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we got ten circles, right? Okay. Now let's go back and let's write the numbers for, e for the numbers that we just counted. Let's write the figures for those numbers. And let me start out over here on the left by writing the first one. What's the number for 1? How do we write that? Well, like that. That's a 1. Okay, so that's how we write a 1. And now let's go to the next one, which is going to be 2. How do we write a 2? 2 would be something like that. That's a 2. Okay, let's go on to uh, 3. There's 3. Now let's do the next one, which is 4, isn't it? That's what a 4 looks like. Let's write a 5, because that's the next one. Let's do 5. And that's 5. So now we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right, we're halfway done with our numerals. Let's go down to the second row. Over here on the left, let's do number 6. And 6 looks like that. All right. Let's keep going. The next one after six is what? Seven? Seven looks like that. And then comes what after seven? Eight? Eight. Close it up there. That's our eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one more. Well, next is nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then let's do one more here. Ten. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that's how we write our numbers 1 through 10. All right. So let's maybe try that one more time using something different. We did circles, so how about we do something easy 
and different like squares. How about we draw some squares up here? So let me draw here, just like we did with the circles, let me draw a square to be our first one. And that's going to be square number what? That's square number one. Okay, so we got one square. Let's draw another one next to that one. All right, how many squares do we have now? Two? Right. Okay, that's two squares, one, two. Let's do another one. How many squares do we have now? Three. Okay. About a square next to that one. How many do we have now? Four? One, two, three, four. Yep, that's four. Okay, let's put one more next to those. Okay, now how many squares do we have? Five? Yep, five. So we got one, two, three, four, five. Okay. We got room for more, so let's go down here to the bottom of the screen and draw another one right there. And that's going to be how many now? Six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's six. Okay, let's put another one up next to number six. That's going to be square number what? Seven? So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven squares. Okay, another one next to the seven. That's going to be what? Eight? Yep, that's eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, another square next to that one makes it what? Nine? Nine squares. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, one more down here. Square number ten, right? Okay, let me get my highlighter so we can tick these off and count them up. Make sure we got them all. So back up to the left on the top. That's one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we got them all. So now we go back and we're going to write the numbers above the squares as we count them off. Let's write the uh, figures that we were learning with the circles. Remember, this one is one, and so that's how we write a one. Now let's go to number two. That's two. Then we got three, and then we've got four. And then five, and going down to the bottom left, six, and then seven, and then eight, nine, and there's ten. Got all ten squares, okay. Now let's do that one more time for today, just to finish up, get good at counting one through ten. Let's use something like, how about we draw some stars, maybe something like like that. We'll count stars this time, so let's count up to ten with the stars. So there's there's one star, now we put another one next to that, we got how many stars? Two, right. Okay, and we've got, it's kind of sloppy, but how many stars is that? Is that three? Okay, let's keep counting. And there's four, and it's five. Let me go back and check that. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Five stars. Okay. Let's go down to the bottom here and draw another one. So that's star number six, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Okay. And then one more star makes seven. I'll count. Let me draw the row, then we'll go back and count them. So that's seven. And what comes after seven? Eight. And then what? Nine. And then ten. Right. Okay, so let's count these up. Let me get my highlighter out again. All right, here we go. Let's count starting up here in the top left. Now that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, ten stars. And just like before, let's write the numbers above each star. So this is star number one, isn't it? Okay, and then this is star number two. Star number three, star number four, star number five, star number six down here in the bottom left, and then star number seven, number eight, number nine, and star number ten. Okay, we got all ten. Well, that's all the counting we're going to do for today until next lesson. So that is what we just did was count 1 through 10. And that is all for now. 
but we will see you next lesson. And in the meantime, if you want more information about Ray's Arithmetic and about other homeschooling ideas and solutions, you can go to raisearithmetic.wordpress.com.